The next speaker is uh, International Service for Human Rights. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Human rights defenders and civil society globally are facing worsening restrictions and attacks, including in, but by no means limited to, Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Burundi, Egypt, Russia, Sudan, Uzbekistan, and Venezuela. The High Commissioner, UN experts, and states, jointly and individually, have drawn our attention during this session to the deteriorating situation of human rights in China. This is an important step, but nonetheless insufficient, to combat the comprehensive crackdown now taking place in the country. Lawyers and defenders in China face nearly insurmountable challenges. Even the most basic rights of the accused, for example, to be innocent until found guilty, are violated by such trends as televised confessions and systematic refusal to allow detained defenders to meet their lawyers or their families. This has a ripple effect, discouraging dissent and defaming those who protect human rights. In short, we see in China an unprecedented, systematic and ongoing assault on civil society. This requires an extraordinary response from the international community, including this Council. China, as a current member, should live up to the pledges it made before joining. We urge the Chinese government to take concrete measures to improve the human rights situation before it concludes its term this year. If not, as civil society has said on many occasions, the Council itself has an obligation to act. First, China must halt its crackdown on human rights defenders. The international community should continue to call for the release of those detained and arrested. Even when released, defenders are often treated as criminal suspects, placed under surveillance, prevented from traveling, and pressured to self-censor. Second, China must scrap legislation that further limits the space for civil society. The draft foreign NGO law, the charities law, the newly passed security law, and counterterrorism law all have far-reaching provisions limiting human rights. Your action and continued concern are desperately needed, including for detained defenders Wang Yu and Bao Longjun, for Liu Xia, Liu Xiaobo, Guo Feixiong and Shu Jiyong, for Li Heping and Gao Yue and Zhao Wei, Chan Yunfei, Tang Jingling, Yuan Xingting, Su Tang Lan, Liu Ping, Yu Shi Wen, Tang Jingling.